Greetings, good lords and ladies. You may notice the new background today. I am trying to see what it's like filming in front of my bookshelf because they are book reviews. Now, today we will be talking about The Castle in the Attic by Elizabeth Winthrop. Uh, this is a kid's book. It was in the free bin at the library and I remember reading it as a child or maybe having it read to me in school by like a teacher for our reading time or whatever. It was still good. It's about a boy whose nanny gives him a castle and the little knight comes to life and of course they have to get rid of the evil sorcerer who's bewitched everything and made the land disgusting and gross. Kind of like Scar and the Lion King when he takes over and the land all dies and everything. So I liked the boy in the book, um, William but I thought his attachment to his nanny was a little bit strange. Like it was a little too much for me. I get it, she raised him, she's always been there for him, but he turns her into like a miniature figure to keep her with him when she has decided to go back home. So I was like, that's a little extreme and a little weird in my opinion. But other than that, you know, it was a good book about using what talents you have to help the world, even if it's, you know, a made up world, that moral is still there. And of course, it's a story, a, a coming of age story and learning um, life lessons and how to let people go, but still love them and stuff like that. So I can't believe I just said and stuff like that in my book review. Okay, anyways. Yeah, so it was still a good story and entertaining. I liked learning about all the little rooms and the different parts of the castle and the descriptions of those were really good and of chivalry. And it did portray um, the knight, Sir Simon, um, as a religious man and going into pray in the cathedral and fast all night before going on his adventure. And I thought that was really interesting because one, it is a kid's book, you know, and sometimes uh, authors or even films will kind of shy away from portraying religion in children's books so like blatantly and obviously but a lot of knights back in the medieval era of course were religious as well were they reusing their religion for a good reason definitely no but they were religious <laughs> so I mean obviously I was like stereotyping all knights there were good knights and bad knights, of course, just like there's good and bad people in every religion. But I thought it was really interesting that she did have him fast and stay in the cathedral and be praying overnight. And I actually really enjoyed that part of the book, just putting that little religious kind of part in there. So I don't know, like, I don't know if I would read it again as an adult after having read it once through again as an adult. Obviously I think the ending was rushed because I'm more into like the big longer battles like in Lord of the Rings or something instead of having the ending just be over super quick. But of course it's a kid's book so you can't have all that gore and violence you know in the kids literature. I would still suggest it if your kids into knights or medieval eras or anything like that. I would definitely suggest Castle Natic by Elizabeth Winthrop. So my question for today has is, have you been to any castles, actual castles? Yes, I have been to lots of castles. I can't remember all of them. I've been to like a couple in Italy. I've been to some in Germany. Some of them are completely ruined. And some of them have, are obviously still not in perfect uh, medieval condition, but you know, they're kept as museums and stuff like that. And I've been to Bishop's Castle, which is a place in Colorado that this guy just built his own castle on his own land. It doesn't really have any um, safety regulations or anything like that. So that's very interesting. Um, but it is kind of a cool place to walk around. If you're scared of heights, though, I definitely would not suggest going there. Because like I said, there's not really any safety regulations at this castle. But it is just a random castle that a guy built in the middle of the Colorado woods. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, I think castles are cool. I wouldn't like to have lived in one because they are very dark and probably cold. And I am already almost always cold and freezing. And I really, really, 
really, really, really love natural light. And because lots of castles were defense, you know, based castles, they couldn't really have a bunch of nice open windows for people to shoot them through or stab them through or anything like that. So no, I would not like to live in a castle, but yes, I think they are very cool and fascinating pieces of history. So once again, that was Castle in the Attic by Elizabeth Winthrop. Definitely suggest it for kids. If you're an adult and want to read it through once, also suggest, but I don't know if it'd be a book that I'd keep on my bookshelf forever. Anyways, yeah. Thank you for listening, lords and ladies, and ye all have a wonderful day.